All right, guys, you ever uh, have one of those uh, leaky float bowls where no matter what you do, adjusting float height, uh, checking it out, you can't see anything, but you, you, get, you just keep getting a little dribble out. So you can see here, I get this real small leak, okay, out of this uh, uh, bottom tube of the carburetor here. And what we got to determine is that the drain or is it the vent or what that looks like. Because as I turn the carburetor sideways here, you're going to see that you have the drain screw out from the bottom. And then as I lower this back down here, you're going to see I'm just going to use a vise here to focus. Okay. And what we got is this tube, and the idea here is if, if the fuel level, uh, the float sticks or something, you get a piece of crap in there and it won't actually shut off, the fuel level will end up going down this tube and out to the ground instead of filling up in the engine. So what we got to figure out is why do we keep getting this little drip here? And what happens, a lot of these bikes as they sit for long periods of time, get water in them. And uh, if you back the camera up here, you're going to see here what I have is a Mighty Vac with a hose attached to it on pressure. I'm going to go ahead and pressurize the bowl here. You're going to see we're getting leaks without even uh, trying too hard, without even plugging it. So let me go ahead and do the on process. Can I get one in here? Go ahead and... Uh, Let's zoom in here. Okay. Let's see if we can't get it real good. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to plug the top of this. The idea is we're just going to put a few PSI in there. Go ahead. And right away, can you see how that's puking out there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so stop for a second here. We know it leaks. And that shouldn't be happening. We should be able to have a sealed unit by putting our finger on top of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and see what the camera if we could see anything, I'm dumping the fuel out here. Go ahead. Oh, wonderful. And see the crack develop? Yeah. A little more. Let off. Shuts up. Go ahead and open. Let off all the way. Let all the pressure off. That's it. Okay, on again one more time. Here it is, boys and girls. There's our leak. Great. All right, so to get a view of what we got going on here, these guys, we got air, airline, show the Mighty Vac tool here. Uh, this didn't do as good a job, did it, um, because it just really wasn't enough pressure, but really just to prove it. Mm -hmm. That's all we're trying to do. And would you agree that the leak out of that bowl was really super small? Yeah, yeah. I airline. mean, it was, go ahead and take the vacuum line off there. So we have fuel in there. And it was just a real slight drip. Like it'll, it'll want to drip. I mean, even right now. But rub your finger on it. I don't think there's enough fuel in it at the moment. So there. very, very hard. And would you agree that that would uh, that seam will open and close due to just even ambient temperature? Yeah. So um, tough find, and that's why we got to get creative with our tools to. Uh, figure out how to fi uh, fix this. So we're going to do it like this. Put some epoxy on it. We'll retest it. Make what are you doing there? Go ahead. Smoothing out, getting the rough edges off of it. See a nice brush fit. You just got, just keep it on there. You can get closer. Just set the, set the temp gun right on the coffee can. Just rest it. Go or no go. What do you have? 175. I think I'm good, bud. Oh. <laughs> Bring that epoxy up. All right, we've got our tube fixed, but you can see that we still can't seem to hold pressure. If we come down here, uh, Chris, one of the technicians here, has identified. Okay. But. No leaks on the inside, we'll fix the drain screw and then uh, we'll be wrapped.